So the, the center of excellence, especially for automation analytics, is a relatively new thing in the world. Um, really, I would say it's kind of started to crystallize in the last five years. How consistent is that advice you're getting from like consultants, vendors, uh, other professionals that you network with? Is it is it still sort of scattered or is it starting to to sort of centralize around a few things? Uh, no, this is a great point, uh, you know, that how would you trust or how would you go with? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I didn't want to ask it exactly that way, but yeah, yeah. How do you make those decisions? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, see, uh, we have, as I, as I mentioned earlier, that we have, you know, a standard set of tool within organizations. You know, we, we call them as architecture groups uh, where our own architects, uh, you know, sit there and then there are divisions like, say governance uh, yep. uh, you know bodies so we take uh, all views you know we listen to all and but at the end of the day you know we validate we we try to follow uh, more like a prototype model say you know we okay. would not put in, uh, fix some uh, guidelines on everybody we would test it we would build some small pocs prototype see you know how it is working uh, if those standards make sense and obviously you know say for for, for older technologies, say Java.net, where you have that kind of a background, things are already defined. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. So uh, I guess I would summarize that by saying you listen to all and then figure out what works for you and the organization and the people. Right? Yeah. I think that's, I think that's wise counsel. 